Welcome to another video and episode on my walking robot MIFT 2 based on the Fish Technique TXT controller running embedded Linux and programmed in online mode via SSH, your shell in Python. Um, if you are watching this for the first time, um, short introduction TXT controller right here created by not long, um in Germany, uh, running uh, Linux as said, and uh, based on two ARM processors. Um, it runs default firmware from Knoblauch, however uh, the Fish Technique community has developed an, uh, another firmware which enables to um, set your own um, settings including um, an IP address by Wi-Fi. Um, next um, you can use encoder motors which I use. Um, you can uh, use an um, USB camera, uh, touch sensors, lamps, switches etc etc. Digital input uh, analog input, you name it. Right now I am using the um, two touch sensors, a uh, uh, sensor right here, as well as two encoder motors. The um, point is, unfortunately, that I, uh, although running the commuter firmware, I have to revert to the standard uh, graphical user interface. Otherwise, I can't use the camera with OpenCV, which is included in FTRO Pi, the API, Application Programming Interface, on the community firmware. It is on a scaffold, uh, on an elevation, just like objects are. Because currently I'm in a redesign and I have found that the weight of the robot is too much for um, the motors to actually walk. Parts have been ordered, so now um, wait till um, arrival and then complete uh, well reconstruction. And um, with OBCV I make images in red, so I filter everything out via the HSV, UV saturation and value, color space. And if you have watched uh, my previous episodes on this, then you know that it is not going to be nice and easy. So, let's... Um, Log in and it would be nice if I got uh, from SSH a message that I could log in. That is not happening, and I am using the correct uh, IP address, so that does not promise much. Let's see for the um, software and go there. So, um, waiting for it to connect. It doesn't work. Now I am going to use Robo Pro for a test on that. Um, change the IP address for this Robo interface. Uh, this one doesn't respond either. Otherwise, it would already have done so. No. So, I have to reboot the controller, unfortunately. So, second attempt. It happens more often, unfortunately, but um, development. Uh, on the side of the uh, community version of the firmware has been slow lately. And 
and now it has loaded and I have to select um, the standard graphical user interface now I will um, select once again and now if I can acknowledge the connection and I'm in finally so I can go in here and uh, I can test here that I do have a connection and let's test so um, this switch is working this switch is working and this switch is working uh, motors are working yes this is working yes okay so that is good all is good now before I do anything else let's enter the program then I have to set the date for which I unfortunately have to use the American notation um, and it's the tenth. Then time is nine thirteen. That's correct. And then remove Everything is safe uh, and cleaned up. So let's run it for the first time today. Oh, I've got something else which makes me want to hold this. I need to start the SSH server on the laptop as well. And almost eight minutes in. Um, this is started, so let's go. Yeah, very nice. Now the question is, of course, uh, using display from Image Magic. Um, what's the result? Kind of nice. Red, red, red. Always a surprise what you see. It's uh, too close set to watch everything. But let's first see what the resulting image is. entirely black that is not good and that reminds me from last time this is way too high um, last time I used a dark table as well as uh, the HSV conversion tool that I uh, found and compiled that the true um, values were this, but that can't be because uh, HSV in open uh, HSV color space in OpenCV is maximum of um, 180. If I'm correct, I think so. Anyway. 350 is too much. Let's 
let me find that color wheel again because this doesn't make sense. Five gives a nice reddish color. So let me first refer to that one. Another one, this should be reddish. Probably not a good one, but at least something. Yep, that is then uh, 920. See, this at least gives something. some red but nothing of the red uh, that you expect to see because uh, you and what I want to see is everything red nicely shown including this of course and every other sign of color black out and that's not this so in comes the color wheel I hope Okay, um, I used to use um, for color picking um, from Darktable um, another program. Um, if you've seen the previous videos, then um, you know that it uh, eventually was no success. However, I found uh, another um, same kind of software I had to compile it and it was an older kind of software so I had to uh, adapt uh, or change a little bit in the program and this is uh, set to actually um, use the HSV as in OpenCV which is exactly what I'm using here. So if I uh, take dark table with this image and then use this tool, then I want to pinpoint something. And then it would be very nice if I indeed take the color picker. Although I don't see it working right now. No, nope. I want a point. So, why is it not working right now? Ah, now it is. Nice. So, this one is um, RGB. 177 and now the point is of course that I want it to have oh that uh, the RGB is here so I'm going here. and it says R is 255 177 I need and here somewhere no I need to restart it okay this is going to be a bit harder than I thought anyway 177 Something like this. Green. Uh, but again, this is showing uh, the wrong car. Just like the other program. And this would be OpenCV alike. 
So when I'm in purple, and this is definitely not the same color. How come? What is then the difference? So Yui uh, here, this is more or less the same. Going here, 177. Uh, which is not the same, by the way, because Yui wants a, yeah. Okay, let's let's do that. Then this 46. Okay, 47 A B, and then um, 74, which is blue. Although this is crazy, what I'm doing. It makes no sense at all. No, that is totally inadequate. This is 177. Green 64, 46 then. Well, this is red. And the blue, I don't care for now. So this... No, I have a higher red value. Like this. And then... 46. Well, whatever about this. So this will mean a UE of 177. But when I do it like here, I get a very different value. And this is about the value that is, is So if I take UE 177, 186, but that's only one value. So this is very, very tricky. Not quite sure how to take this. And here I get also, so UE 177. Let's go here. Right, 177. Then uh, 186, and this be whatever it be, whatever it be. Let's try to find. Uh, let's try this one. Um, I'll have to use this, of course. Go. There we go. Oh, I make a mistake. Uh, 186 is of course in here. Yeah, I should have seen that. 186. Alright, again. Network error. No, 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 no. That can't be. Come on. I'm in the correct interface. Yep, that's better. This is entirely correct. So, I have to use and yep now you see that there has been quite a break 
if you look at the time. And this is black. So this is the sprite. Uh, the attempt not correct. And this was the best um, thing that I could find. Unfortunately, once again, mistake. And you see that uh, the UE is 177, which in itself, by the way, is correct. Because if you take the color wheel, then in OpenCV it is 0 to 179. And red is uh, both here and there. So either you take this one or that one, but it is correct. Uh, which has nothing about saturation and brightness. But in color space it is correct. I could do something else. And that will be my last attempt for this one. before I go on to modeling again. Right. Okay, that is which one is 14.2. Which is very long. This is not good at all. This is like that I'm kind of here now instead of here. I should be here. This is more correct. And instead I'm really here because I see yellow as well. So this value shows nothing. Is it, this is not the correct value. Unless they have completely reversed everything. Panning left. Yeah, okay. Um, what's panning left anyway? Panning down. Don't see the worry why. Okay, this has no meaning to me. Anyway. Um, end of another attempt, unfortunately, color speaking then. Alright, um, if you're not uh, interested in remodeling using Blender, then um, I thank you for watching. If you are in it interested, then um, Please join me in trying to remodel, uh, where is it, here, this one, and where I left last time is that I probably um, have the sizes of the elements wrong. So it's not going to look like this at all. Or I have to shrink uh, a lot of them and it gets smaller. So, what to do? That is a very good question. Uh, all these blocks have um, pretty fine sizes. And that also means that, for instance, um, if I take one block for one small part and two blocks have to be exactly the same size in double. So this one and here that would be one block. Obviously I haven't done that. So if I take one length as a block it is um, let's say 
this would be one size and if I copy this one uh, let's take or let's just copy this one so duplicate move it up here so how do I size it then it would be it would have to be smaller not uh, to uh, ruin anything well this would be one thing it would have it should be larger and twice as big is pretty hard to accomplish this is about it then not entirely correct yet but that will be it uh, way bigger than it is now so if I'm going to shrink it, how would it be then? First of all, this size would be something like, not one size fits all, but it, uh, it would become close. Something like this, a little bit small, uh, larger. the size naturally and then there are half the size and that is really one block so this is not good at all. All these blocks have to be replaced. I can also take one um, and use not this one. No. Uh, no. For half. And then this one is half size kind of and that is the size that I have to work with so um, with three blocks here I'm never going to make it. So let me move this out of the way. Um, duplicate this. Yeah that I can tell is quite a difference although it is slightly higher it is slightly higher than it should be yeah that is better But nevertheless, if I select this and do the same, no. Then I see that it is really um, in a different way than it should be. Ouch. 
So taking away this one, duplicating right here, this one away, and even this one is different. So duplicate, then I would have to shrink everything. Right. Um, delete, delete, and delete. Then another thing is here is a gap and a pretty large gap as well. Although Uh, how about this one? That is correct, but this one certainly is not correct. Should be smaller. Same thing is the problem here. So, with all parts ordered, by the way, two new motors quite a few parts with it. Um, I should be able to reconstruct it very soon. But this shows that modeling takes good sizes. And if I look at this one, and take it in my hand, then you can see that it is not, yeah, is it up to uh, the right size? I'm not quite sure. Anyway. Also with the location of the motors, of the wheels, because I had thought that these would uh, be together. And these would be together. So it's going to be, um, this will be a plant thing, while the original one, this one, is more organically grown. And how I have to deal with this remains to be seen. I hope I can show you next time with the full reconstruction. Although reconstructing this has been uh, uh, almost a series on its own. So this is going to be an adventure and the coloring OpenCV is an adventure because that I still don't know. And I think for now I leave it at that because this with uh, new sizes um, everything shrinks. This whole thing will be more like this and then uh, locations don't make sense. This would of course be closer together. Making it a lot smaller. A lot thinner as well. Although, once again, uh, doing this should um, take in respect this and how large is this. Anyway, I'd better stop before I start ruining everything.
let me save again that's good so for now um, with a new um, HSV problems or repeated uh, with another tool uh, thanks for watching the coloring is still a mystery and the size of the modeling well you've seen it it's not quite good um, if you like this video anyway uh, please subscribe to my channel give the video a thumbs up leave a comment or suggestion very much appreciated you can also follow me via Instagram and Twitter uh, show your appreciation is um, by making a donation via either PayPal or Wired and you can also show your appreciation by becoming a patron and have your name mentioned all information on this project as well as my other projects including donation etc is under this video and more information on donating including de de uh, more details um, on my website this is obviously going to be continued. Have a nice day and bye bye.